break. Yay! Good boy! That was a beautiful rep. Wonderful conversation back and forth. Yeah, very nice. I think it was his first time doing that. It was. Yeah, I was when I after I hit the bottom, like wait, I haven't done train tracks too much with him. I haven't taught him that. Yeah, yet. but you've given him so much knowledge but, on e-collar pressure. He understands that you're and, talking and, to him. And he feels he's much more of a unit with me. Like he tries, he listens out here, you know. So. And you made it very obvious with patting your leg and yeah, yeah. the tone means I already come to you if you stay moving, keep moving. Good boy. Good boy. These dogs like sniff bombs and find Good. drugs. Good. He's got a nose on him. He's got a nose and a lot of teeth. And he's, uh, look how he's built. I know. Small, but. Um, agile. Agile. He could, this guy's gonna. These are the dogs. Could have our fence, it's him. These are the dogs they have working at airports to try to find drugs. Yeah, this is perfect. There's no excess weight on them. No. The light. And they've got drive. They're different though in the head. Yeah. They're, they're more like shepherds, like but and more intense than a shepherd. Where like they 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 get programmed and then they just react instead of kind of being present and calm and thinking through a situation. They, they kind of learn how to react in a situation and they just keep, they just trigger to it because they're working dogs, right? So you teach them once and that's how they react when they're in that situation forever. And that's great when you're a working dog. It's, it's not good if you've learned the wrong thing to do at, in a pet home and you keep doing it. <laughs> good. It's all about associations with these guys. And once he learns the right way and he's like, okay, I got it, he'll just start reacting uh, when he's in particular situations, right? And so, but we're also, we're teaching him to be more present and more mindful and don't just react on impulse, stop and think and read the room. And that's really hard for these dogs. It's really hard for any dog, really. No. That's right. Now he knows what to do, but he does, but as soon as he crosses over here, he smells better. Yeah, does. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Come here. That's right. There it is. How are you? You never know when you're going to have to do this, right? He just made me have to keep going because he keeps blowing me off, right? Good. Good. There you are. There you are.
transition from behaving in the house to behaving where there's no smell. Frank. Yay! Good boy! Good boy. Now when you run into something, make sure you make the right choice. Now I can see what you're doing. Go on. Yeah. Nice boy. That's a good boy. So it's too far, he gets recalled. Yes, and then it gives me the opportunity to teach the point away, which is the point away. But this is going to eventually just tell him, go on, this is your time to go explore. Good boy. Nice work, buddy. Good job. Yes, I like the sniffing, sniffing the second half. Good boy. Yes. Good job. Good job. they're going to end up being really good when they know when you say go on they go and they sh they just go and they sniff and they do the thing you recall them they come back and they switch into the follow mode so they can they get really good at switching into follow mode when they hear that tone and then being sent when you release them out to actually explore and then they're happy because they're satisfied they get to, they get what they want and you get what you want and all we want is control of when where and how you know we just want to say hey don't go crazy until we say you can you know and even then, there's rules, like he can't go too far away, because I'll recall him. If I tell him to, I can informally kind of point him around, so if I don't want him over there, like this, I can kind of shoo him out of there. Good boy, and he listens, he's a good boy. But that's not a recall, right? He doesn't have to come to me or anything. You just kind of move it along and leave whatever you're going at away, or head in this direction instead of that direction. So he is following us, but he's got some freedom. Good boy. Good boy, and so I, I, he constantly looks back and I'm either saying good, you know, or keep it moving or something, I'm giving him information, or I'm not saying anything to him intentionally, just seeing what his behaviors are, you know. He's pretty good. A lot of checking in. He, he doesn't have an interest in running away from us yet. I haven't seen it, have you? I don't know if he was like that before or not, but he might not have been like that. Something tells me they never tested it. How old is he? A year and a half. Yeah, so because his development was late, usually they start trying to run away a little around like, it can become more prevalent around a year, year and a half. But because he's delayed in his experiences, he might get confident with the world over a course of time here and then try to be in more independent once he feels confident. They lived in an apartment until recently. And I think every time they took him out, he's barking at anything he sees. So I don't think that they ever probably had the confidence to let a leash he's off. Barking at everything he yes. sees. Yes, yes, people and dogs. Yeah. Remember when, how he was barking at drop off? Yeah. That's how he barks. When you're in an apartment, it's hard because as soon as you step outside the door, you have full throttle, uh, temptations, distractions, noises, all this stuff is just, it's, it's turned up to a hundred, you know? We're out here, we can start with a very uh, relaxed environment, get the dog where we want to be, fully introduce uh, triggers for him to the point where we can walk into the city and we're not having any problems. We work our way up to it. Yeah. This is all good. I'm, I'm watching what his intent is. This is good. Um, he's really, right now, he just really wants to explore. Look, I said, not that one. Good, and I did this yesterday too. I don't want him on these poles. Somebody else's property. Me, so I corrected him there. Good. If I shush, if I shush and he continues, then he gets corrected. It's his job to listen for that shush. I don't have to be louder with it. He just has to be listening for it. Good. So he knows I, this is not our property, right? So, so I, again, I'm informally kind of saying, no, don't do that. Head over here. I like, I like being over the wall with them like this because. When they can be free and it's not a, it's not, you know, crowded space, I'd rather my dog to be doing this than up my ass. Then again, if I see something, then I'll hit the tone, get right back into structure, move our way through the situation, and then I'll let him free again when I feel like it's a good environment. But I choose, not him, right? Because I understand the world more, it's way better than him. So look, I'm going to control his direction. I don't want to go to the left. Good 
Good boy. Good boy. He's new at this, but it's getting, it's not terrible. Good. Good. So we got, you know, we got our hand signals. I'm sure everyone knows what that means, like stop, right? I can point for him to go in a certain direction. I can tell him to sit. I can tell him to down, right? I can tell him he's doing good from a distance. It's really useful. And what I like about the hand sign language in the beginning of training, using that a lot, is it makes the dog look at you. They have to look at you to see what you're saying to them. Um, and they can't just rely on their ears, so you get more focus. So, we're just over the first week, so now I'm talking, I'm using more words now. Um, but yeah, I was very quiet with him for a little bit. Just using my shush and my hand signals and the commands if I needed to start training them. And a lot of informal stuff with the body language. Yeah. As soon as I hit that beep, I'm gonna start getting him into some train tracks because he hasn't done much of that yet. So. That's a, that's one of those things where it's, once a dog gets it, they get it, they get it. But when, before they do, it's, uh, it can be difficult, more difficult than it looks. I'm just kind of waiting. Feels nice in the shade. Yeah, his choices have been good, really good actually. Uh, except the only thing is, is that we don't have any triggers out here, so I don't. We did walk by a person, but I don't think even you've seen her. It was uh, Sandy. She was in, she's putting groceries in her car or something. Or taking groceries out. He didn't see her either. Um, right. Here we go. Beep. That was just a beep. Good boy. Nice boy. How are you today? And I expect him to be on the train tracks, which are right here, which is not on. So beep, 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 beep. Good boy. Right? Good boy. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay. He's fun. Yeah. 